Hello friend, this is Brother Tim, just coming with you with a uh, short devotion today. Hope everybody is doing well, and I uh, want us to look in the book of Matthew chapter 9, we'll look at verse 28 through verse 30. Um, this story tells us that Jesus had just come from raising Jairus' daughter from the dead. That's an amazing story in and of itself. Uh, the Lord has all power over life and death, and we praise the Lord for that. But the Bible said that after he had done that, there were two blind men who came up to Jesus. And I'll paraphrase this story. Uh, they come to Jesus, and they asked Jesus to heal them uh, of their blindness. And Jesus asked a question back. He says, do you believe uh, that I can restore your sight? Do you believe that I have the power to do this? And the men has a two-word answer. They say, yes, uh, yes, they believe. Yes, they are putting their faith in Jesus that he is able to uh, heal their blindness. And then they said, Lord, they are trusting him as the Lord of their life, submitting themselves unto him. Uh, to whatever he was going to do to them to restore their sight. So they said, yes, Lord. And the Lord makes a statement that he makes often in the Gospels. He tells the blind men that it is because of their faith that they would receive this miracle. Uh, numerous times, Jesus says this when he performs a miracle, he tells the person that it is according to your faith. That the key to their miracle was not the power that Jesus had. He has all power. Uh, it wasn't dependent on anything else but their faith, them believing, them putting their trust in Jesus Christ. And so the Lord has really been speaking to me uh, about this over the last few weeks because it seems like every time that I'm reading a story in the Gospels, Jesus is telling somebody this. He says, it's according to your faith um, that is going to bring about this miracle. The devil wants us to doubt. The devil wants us to doubt our prayers. He wants us to doubt the promises. He wants us to doubt uh, as we read God's word. He just wants to plant seeds of doubt. In fact, that was his first trick in the Garden of Eden. Uh, he made Eve doubt what God had said. And so Jesus makes the statement says, it's according to your faith, uh, what is going to happen to you. I think that translates to us today. Um, it is faith. It is putting our faith and trust in God, not only knowing that God can do it, but a faith is an expectation that God is going to do it. Um, in the book of Hebrews, it calls it evidence. Uh, and so when we think about our faith, is our faith strong or is our faith weak? Do, when we pray, do we pray in faith? Do we live our life each day in faith that God is going to do what he said he would do? That uh, faith is the key to seeing miracles done in our lives. Jesus is still a miracle worker, but the formula is still the same. He said, uh, be it unto you as your faith, uh, whether or not they were going to see this miracle. So I want to encourage you today to live a life of faith. When you pray, pray and believe. As you go about your day and you encounter obstacles in life, put your faith and trust in the Lord. Yes. The blind men said yes. So they believed, they had faith. And then they said, Lord. And they were submitting themselves to the authority of, of Jesus Christ being Lord of their life. And today we need to do the very same thing. I hope everyone's doing well. Here in just a couple of weeks, we're going to be celebrating Resurrection Sunday. I hope that you'll be in the house of the Lord somewhere and, and celebrate this wonderful day. If you don't have a church home, we'd love for you to come and be with us at Hurricane Chapel. Uh, we'll have Sunday school at 10, a worship service at 11. We're also having a sunrise service that morning at 7 a.m., and on uh, the Friday before the Resurrection Sunday, on Good Friday, we're going to be having a Good Friday service at 6.30. We'd love for you to come out be a part of any of these services as we celebrate this wonderful weekend. We love you. God bless you.